What's going on guys and welcome back to another Jacob's Clash episode. You can see we are back at the tier list maker and today we are ranking the best sceneries in the game and uh, I'll show you guys basically how I'm doing this but I am going based off of the availability in the shop right here in sceneries and then the couple that uh, my friends have as well. Uh, I know I'm going to be missing two or th three scenery, so make sure to leave in the comments if some of those are your favorites. But to start us off, the first one that we are ranking is the first just base scenery. So here it is right now. You're looking at it. You all know what it looks like. It's fine, right? But at the end of the day, like it's it's not going any higher than E tier, right? I, I, you can you can yell about nostalgia, you can yell all these things, but for me, like obviously if you pay money, it's going to get you a better skin. It's just bland, right? So we're going to go E tier. Uh, next is that jungle scenery. Let's go back over here and let's, uh, let's go check out what the jungle scenery looks like together. Select that bad boy. Boom. There we go. It is, it's the base scenery, but elevated just a little bit. Uh, pretty much the only update over here is this water section everything else looks pretty much the same uh so in my opinion i would say well it has to be a little bit higher right uh but again there's going to be so many better skins i'm going to rank it as an e tier or a d tier skin at the moment uh, we might change that up and down uh there probably won't be very many e skins so actually going down e right there's going to be better the waterfall is kind of nice now we are going to the magic scenery. These at the beginning, guys, these are all free sceneries, right? That, that we get for basically leveling up to a new town hall. So let's go over to the magic scenery. Here we go. Uh, what are my thoughts? Uh, let's actually shrink me just so we can uh, uh, admire the bases uh, more than my face. Um, it's fine, right? But I feel like this white ice cap over here is just kind of strange in my opinion. There isn't really much of a terrain difference. I kind of like these uh, big sculptures or whatnot over here. Uh, it's fine. Um, I Let's go over to the tier list maker. What do you guys think? I'm kind of leaning towards, do we think it's better than the jungle scenery? I think it is. I I, I think the, the white ice caps are fine. But again, it's it's not it's not one of my favorites, right? So it is going to be D tier. Again, it is a free skin. Um, so let's go back in over here. And the next one that we are doing is that pixel scenery. A lot of people's favorite sceneries, uh, just because well, it's a free scenery. Again, you can have it at Town Hall Seven, Eight. I think it was for a Clash anniversary back in the day. Um, it's the exact same as the normal scenery, but pixelated. I'm not going to lie. Let's go over to the tier list. This is going to be my least favorite uh, skin out there. I feel like I almost need to move everything up one and the pixel scenery just needs to be by itself. I know that might be a hot take. I just really don't like it, man. You know what? I'm actually going to do that. There you go. The pixel scenery is by itself alone at the bottom. Sorry. Uh, talk about it in the comments. All right. Now we are going to the painter scenery. Let's look at it. Select it up. This was the Easter scenery. I really like this scenery. I'm not gonna lie. It's I, I I believe this scenery was free or it was in the gold pass. I think it was in the gold pass. And this was the first ever gold pass uh, scenery. I think they added. There's just so many different tiny details about this. And for around Easter time or even summertime, just in general, uh, it's it's really fun to be honest. So let's go to the tier list maker. It's by far better than any of the ones we've ranked so far. I'm actually going to rank it all the way up at A tier. Uh, I think they did a really good job with this scenery. All right, now the Goblin uh, Mines scenery. Uh, it's the final scenery that I do in fact have. Then we're going to have to look at basically uh, just the base thing. Look at this beauty, guys. Y you may not see a better uh, scenery after this. In my opinion, this is... Uh, spoiler alert, S, 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 S tier. There's something about all the dark sceneries uh, or the nighttime sceneries that just look so good, right? Uh, and then I, can, can you really go wrong with the goblins dancing in the corner over here? No, no, you can't. And that's why you always see me rocking this, showing the gold in the corner. Look, there's just so many details over here. Uh, this is the only scenery I've actually ever bought in the game. 
So you already know where it's going. It's going all the way up to S tier. All right, next is the future scenery. Uh, this is one that they are not selling currently, but luckily I saw that one of my friends uh, in the clan is using the future scenery. So let's go over to Greenstone right here. And here's the future scenery. It is okay. It's, it's, it's odd. I know a lot of people do like it. Obviously, my friend likes it. Uh, I think the funniest thing about the scenery is all <laughs> the traffic uh, uh, goblins uh, down at the bottom. It's just, it's definitely the, one of the most unique sceneries out there. I just, I, I can't get on board with a clash base being like a floating island. So for that reason, let's go back over here. Uh, it's it's definitely better than all the free sceneries, uh, but not by much, right? I'm going to have to say it's C tier. Again, these are all my opinions. I know some of you guys probably love these sceneries, uh, but not my cup of tea, really. Let's go over to the social page. King of Darkness is who we're looking for because he has the next scenery we want to look at. Here we go. It is the new Halloween scenery. I I really like it. I think this is one of the best Halloween sceneries they have come out with. I think the slide is my favorite part about this scenery. Um, it's, it's cool, right? I can't really go wrong with it. I think the one problem kind of with um, the other scenery I kind of talked about earlier, the painter scenery, it only really works during one season. So I don't think I can say SSS tier, but... I will say A tier, and I think it's going to be, I probably enjoy it a little bit better than the painter scenery, even though I do have the painter scenery. Um, yeah, we're going to go with that. All right, now we are getting into the the ones where we could all currently buy right now. So if you see any of these sceneries that you do enjoy, uh, just go over to the cosmetics page, go over to the sceneries page, and we can go look at it right here. Unfortunately, I can't scroll, so we can't look at any further details. Um... I can move my little icon around so we can see the entire base though. It's all right. This I think was the first scenery that they did come out with. It is, there's there's not that much different, right? There, there's a couple small buildings here off to the side. Um, I think for me personally, this is going to have to be a, a D tier. It, it is, it's not better than uh, the, the, ah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I I was looking at that magic scenery. And I was like, is it better than the magic scenery? You know, I'd probably like the magic scenery a little bit better, right? So maybe I'm I'm gonna move the magic scenery down. It probably doesn't deserve to be in C tier. At the end of the day, it is a free scenery. Um, let, let's go with that. Uh, now let's go back. Now we're looking at the pirate scenery. Pirate scenery. Uh, again, it's very similar to the OG. Other than, well, there's pirate camps around. Uh, there isn't really a pirate ship, which is kind of disappointing, right? The only pirate ship I can see is this sunken pirate ship right here. And then the one, uh, the coolest thing about this is probably this skull cave right up here. Kind of really reminds me of those jungle sceneries, though. And it really doesn't uh, move the needle that much for me. Uh, Again, I'm going to have to say it's right on the same tier as that Clashy Constructs that we just looked at. Maybe a little bit better just because of the Skull Cave right there. So the next one is this epic winter scenery. I pretty much like all of the winter sceneries. I think they look pretty nice. Um, they just get you in the holiday mood. Uh, this, this castle up here kind of reminds me of that Fortnite uh, castle. I forgot what it's even called. Um, but yeah, it, I enjoy this one. I, I, my favorite part is probably these barbarians, uh, basically you shall not pass over this bridge, uh, like Gandalf. So this one, it, it's, it's going to be up there for me. Definitely not S tier or A tier, but I think that's going to be our first B tier. It's definitely better than the future scenery. Um, uh, yeah, no, I, I keep looking at the other ones. I'm like, is it better? No, we, we, Go with our gut, right? All right, next one is, what is it? Is it, it's the Hog Mountain Scenery. All right, this one is pretty nice, right? It, it is uh, based on, um, kind of reminds me of kind of like an Overwatch map in a, in a sense. 
Uh, and uh, of course, the highlight is this little temple. I wish this was a little bit better bigger maybe like the temple the floating island with the small little bridge is kind of weird but the giant hog rider statues are pretty cool um the random pillars are also nice i really wish i could zoom in but i guess they want me to buy it if i want to see a little bit more in detail right um so let's x out here let's go back where are you thinking um it's it's better than the future scenery i i do like the winter scenery better though all right, now we are off to the epic jungle scenery. Um, it's nice, right? I, I think it is pretty awesome, to be honest. I think this bridge looks pretty awesome. It reminds me of the Indiana Jones. It's like the last bridge that I was kind of complaining about, I know, but it's just a little bit bigger, and it actually looks like it holds like almost a, a purpose. And then uh, the little statues, and if you can zoom out, I have been able to zoom out on this one before, looking at someone's base and this temple is just massive right um, I'm still kind of confused where the heck this boat's leading to uh, but I really do enjoy this epic jungle scenery uh, it's definitely better than the first jungle sceneries that we went over right so I think it has to be better than the the winter scenery uh, it's probably a, a solid B tier for me all right now let's go to the ninth clash anniversary scenery this one is very strange, right? Um, there's a lot going on around the outside. It's it's it. This is when all the party skins were going out. And if you watched my other tier list with the party skins, I was kind of a party skin hater in, in a sense. And I know a lot of you guys like the party skins. I just didn't. And and there was kind of the same thing with the scenery, man. Uh, the best uh, highlight of this, I guess I didn't even say that. I do like the Pekka that's kind of on fire. I think this stage is just kind of obnoxious. I know it does have music playing in the background, but uh, kind of with the rest of the party skins, it's going to be D tier for me. I, I feel like I'd rather the OG still. It's better than the pixel scene. It's going all the way at the bottom. Uh, argue with a wall. No, actually argue with me in the comments section, but it, it's, it's one of my least favorite sceneries. All right, now let's go to the pumpkin graveyard scenery. Fire, right? I, I really do enjoy these Halloween sceneries, just like I like the the um, the, the holiday uh, Christmas type sceneries as well. This boat is sick. It reminds me of, for some reason, like a Scooby Doo episode, like where like it was like a ghost town type thing. I'm sorry, I'm giving you just all these random movie and TV references, but <laughs> live with it, right? This pumpkin's pretty cool over here as well. Uh, I really do like any scenery that adds like fog or uh, obviously it's kind of biased, right? There's fog on this one, uh, but obviously elevation changes as well is a big plus in my mind. Uh, so it's not going to be S tier, right? Uh, but it could be up there on A tier with for me. Um, I think it is my... Do I like it better than the, uh, the new one? I think I do actually. Uh, the slide, it was the best on this one. The Just the whole aesthetics with this uh, Halloween scenery, I like just a little bit more. Next, let's go to Snow Day. All right, what do we like about Snow Day? It's it's fine, right? It's not bad. The, the castle over here is pretty cool. Again, how the heck are you getting to this castle, though? Uh, it looks like, was there used to a, a, be a drawbridge? There's nothing right now. I really like the the maze over here. Um, other than that, it's a very solid uh, Christmas uh, scenery. Uh, one of the highlights here is look at this boat right here. The boat, uh, because it's iced over, it is basically on a uh, well, slide, uh, not not a slide, uh, but a like a snow pusher uh, mobile. So I enjoy that scenery. It is uh, it is not as good as probably uh, the Hog uh, Mountain one. Or the, no, the Hog Mountain one. Maybe the Hog Mountain one needs to go up. I think I'm disrespecting the Hog Mountain a little bit. I, I'm going to put it down here. I, I do like the, the, the one with the castle a little bit better uh, as far as holiday sceneries go. All right. Now to Tiger Mountain. Tiger Mountain is awesome, right? You might see a trend here with uh, my nighttime sceneries being one of my favorite type of sceneries. I just really like it. The fireworks going off in the background. Obviously, the highlight is just this massive tiger over here. And 
it's good, man. I, I, I like it. It's like the Great Wall of China here on the uh, on the right. Uh, for me, this has to be S tier. Still not as good as the one that I, I have bought myself, but I do really enjoy that scenery. All right, next we are going over to, where are we? We are to the primal scenery. This is the one with the E-drag that is stuck in the wall over here. Poor guy, uh, poor guy, right? Um, but it's fine, right? It's better than some of the other desert sceneries that we will see in the future. Um, actually, it might be one of my favorite desert sceneries looking back because the my biggest pet peeve with the desert sceneries is that the grass is just a weird green color and then over here, it's kind of like a, it blends in a little bit more, right? Um, it's fine. Uh, and we're going to rank it as fine in our ranking here. Uh, right around C tier. Yeah, it's still better than uh, that uh, the future scenery, in my opinion. All right, now let's go to the shadow scenery. All right, uh, my face cam is just like here floating in the middle. That might be just the move now, to be honest. We're looking at everything on the exterior of the base anyways, right? Um, I really wish we could zoom out here again, but it's it's pretty cool like right this looks like kind of like the minecraft caves update or i'm going into like uh bowser's castle right here um i vibe with it it's it's not one of my favorites ever uh but it's definitely better than the last one i like how we have like a little elixir pool over here as well a little percy jackson like river um it's it's gonna be it's gonna be back of b tier i i like the hog mountain a little bit better than it but yeah solid a very solid skin now we are going to go to the royal scenery uh, this is of course an homage to the clash royale so if you love clash royale uh, i'm sure you're going to love this scenery as well um clash royale is fine right it's it's not one of my favorite games ever i i, I still play it occasionally uh but out of all the supercell games i like to stick with clash uh but it's not a bad scene at all. Obviously, the 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 focal point of this is them is sending rockets back and forth. Um, there's just Easter eggs all over the place for Clash Royale. If you're into Clash Royale, I'm sure it's going to be S tier. For me, uh, it's going to be, again, middle of the pack. Um, it's it's going to be better than the future scenery. The future scenery, as you can see, is kind of like my back-end paid scenery, right? All the other ones are the very early sceneries that you kind of unlocked. After that, these are the, the all the, the more current ones. Now, let's go to the next desert map, the summer scenery. Ah, I don't really like it, to be honest. I, I really do like the beach, uh, the, the outside of the scenery, but the main place that you're looking at, right, is your base, right? And look at this, like, green grass that surrounds this uh, gray, the, the, like the beige background. Just looks kind of strange, right? Uh, the goblin shipping on his drink over here is kind of funny. Um, but other than that, I think the villa over here, if the scenery was just this bottom half, it would be my favorite. It would be a lot better than the lecture dragon scenery. But uh, just because the slides are a bit wonky over here um, and the background is a bit strange, it's going to be uh, probably a D tier for me. It's probably one of my least favorite desert sceneries. Uh, we won't be too disrespectful to say that we would rather have the OG sceneries. Uh, but that's pretty much where we're slawing it right now. All right, now let's go to our, what are we at? The 10th Clash Aversary scenery. Uh, this one's fire, right? Uh, it's pretty epic because it goes through every single town hall uh, well, we've been at, right? So wh where, where is it? Town Hall 1 starts over here, 2 all the way to 9. It shows the very quick pro uh, progression that you reach Town 9. Then Town Hall 10 takes a while, Town Hall 11, 12, 13, 14, right? Town Hall 15 wasn't a thing yet, so it feels kind of strange to use it right now. But again, look, you can see the gold pass over here, all the king and queen skins. It's, it's pretty nice, right? We can't disrespect it, even though Town Hall 15 is out at the moment. I think it does have to be a skin, uh, an A-tier skin. I'm going to rank it above the painter scenery. I think for a lot of you guys, the painter scenery will be way too high. 
I just rocked with it with so for so long, you know, and I, I, I just like it. All right, let's go to Clash Fest scenery. I don't know. I think this might be the first time I'm ever seeing this scenery. I'm not gonna lie. I don't see a lot of people using this, and I don't. Was this another like anniversary? I assume this was like the eleventh or twelfth year anniversary scenery. It's fine, right? It's it's not uh, one of my favorites in the world. There's just balloons kind of everywhere. Um, out of all the anniversary sceneries, it's it's not <laughs> to the uh, to the stage of this anniversary. What was that? The ninth anniversary. Uh, but for me, I don't think I can go any higher than D tier. I'm gonna slot it in right there. All right, now we are going to the magic scenery. T -t 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 -t. Let's go back to the base epic magic scenery here we are it's better than the og magic scenery right that we get for free uh but you can't rank it much higher in my opinion it's it's fine but there isn't very many hidden details and i think that's what's so cool about these uh these bases right um so for me again i know it seems kind of strange i feel like d tier is kind of being stacked up on well, I said it's better than that, so it has to be bottom of C, right? So I think all, all of these that are left, unfortunately, I don't. These are the autumn and the winter. I wasn't gonna rank these, and then these four, I don't. I, I don't have any friends, and they're not selling them in the shop right now, so I can't really rank them. So if you guys know where these scenery should go, uh, make sure to put them in the comments. But I think this is basically what uh, my thing looks like right here. So. Tell me your thoughts. Uh, I have two S tiers right here, uh, a couple A tiers, B tiers, and then uh, D tier is filled up with pretty much the, uh, the free sceneries. But overall, a pretty balanced uh, tier list. Uh, the night sceneries, uh, one at the end of the day for me. Uh, these top four were all at night. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Goodbye.